Well, today's power player is Wally White, a shortlist candidate for Morningstar's Domestic Stock Manager of the Year. White's manages over $10 billion in assets, and all four of his funds are ranked among the top 1% or 2% on their Morningstar peer groups. Well, Wally joins us now from New York. Welcome to Power Lunch. Great to have you on the show. Do you feel that the September rally that we've had so far is a breakout or a fake-out? <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm not your guy for uh, short-term market calls, but uh, every other month has been up, and and uh, we think we're in a, uh, a sideways market that may go on for another several quarters or another couple of years because there's a lot of uh, digestion of, uh, of uh, housing and other inventory to be had. But that, that makes it great for uh, value investors. I was just going to say, Wally, your, your funds have done extremely well. You are a value investor. Where are you finding that value? What sectors do you think perhaps have been beaten down enough to, to make them attractive to you? Well, um, we look all over the lot, and uh, we've traditionally been uh, fans of various kinds of media companies, mm -hmm. and uh, we've been investors in almost all of the, uh, the Liberty entities that John Malone manages. And so a company like Liberty Interactive that's basically QVC and, and a lot of cash um, I, I think is still very cheap uh, because coming through the recession, people worried about its balance sheet and they worried about the consumer. But business is good. They've been able to refinance uh, debt, and we think the stock's selling about half of what its business value is. You know, Wally, I look at some of your picks, including Liberty Media, Comcast, and Berkshire Hathaway, all of which are known uh, for extremely strong individual or family ownership and leadership of the company. How important is management in your stock picking model? Uh, well, management's terribly important. Uh, we want we want to own companies that are understandable and sound, well financed, that are growing, but uh, and we want them to generate excess free cash for the investors, but without management that you can trust to redeploy that money well, it doesn't make any difference. And, uh, you know, at times like 08 and the early 09, when nobody really knows whether the world's coming to an end or not, and there's going to be uh, crises and terrific opportunities, you want John Malone able to bail out Sirius XM uh, with a $400 million, 18% loan that results in him owning mm. for uh, forty percent of the company were three billion dollars or you want Warren Buffett able to uh, take calls from uh, GE and uh, Goldman Sachs uh, that need money very badly and need his uh, seal of approval uh, those are intangibles that are worth a lot okay Wally thank you so much for joining us today on power lunch okay thanks